Hey guys, it's Jeremy. And Dan. And in this video, we're showing you how to play one on one defense when you're playing against a guy in the corner. First thing we'll talk about is containing a player versus pressuring a player. Typically, when you can see a player's eyes, that's when you want to contain them. So you don't go right at them, just keep them in that zone. Try to stop them from making a good play. So take away their passes and keep them in this area. You want to try to send them typically up the boards. The reason is because if you really pressure them here, they can make a good play. They're reading the whole ice. So Dan can see the whole ice here. If I start skating towards him, all he has to do is sidestep me and he's gone. So now I'm just gonna contain him. Dan's gonna move around a lot, but I'm gonna stay out here in a good area between him and the net. So I can try to stop plays, wait for him to make a move, and then take him here. Now Dan has his back turned. This is a really good time to pressure the player because he can't see me coming. He doesn't know where he can make a pass. He doesn't know where he has support. So now I'm gonna be really aggressive, come in and try to go after the player's stick. So I'm gonna set him up the boards, take away his stick, take the body and try to get that puck off them. Next tip when you're playing a guy in the corner is have body on body, stick on puck. I'm trying to line my body always up with Dan's body because that keeps him from stepping around me and going towards the net. So once again, I'm keeping my body between the player with the puck and the net. Now my stick, coming down the ice, we said to have it in front. But now here, I want to be a bit more aggressive and always have my stick on the puck. That's going to stop him from making easy passes out and I can usually go for a good poke check if we get in close enough. So I'm going to go Body on body, stick on puck. He's gonna make lots of moves. I'm always trying to go for the poke check. Once we get in here close to the boards and I have some heavy pressure on him, don't try to go right for the puck because if you miss, then he still has it and he's gone. A good way to play the player when you got him against the boards is you lift up the stick, you play the body, and then you play the puck. The last tip for playing a guy against the boards is how you're gonna pressure him and where you wanna send him. So if I come straight at this player, he can go to the left, or to the right. He has two options, and that keeps me guessing. So if I'm coming here, he can deke one way, go the other way, or just clear on, go the other way. So usually, you wanna send a guy up the boards. That keeps him away from behind your net, making those easy passes in front that the goalie has trouble stopping. So here I'm gonna pressure Dan on an angle. I'm coming around from this side, taking away the spot behind the net, and sending him up the boards where it's harder for him to make a play. Also, if I send him up far enough, the winger can come down and pressure him, and then we have two guys getting the puck off him. So I'm coming in here, taking away this ice, then stick on puck, play him up, go for that check. All right, guys, those tips should help you play a little bit better defense. Thanks a lot for watching the video. Don't forget, subscribe to the Hockey Movement. We do new hockey videos every single week to help you become a better hockey player. Thanks for watching the video. We'll see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.